Well, a very good evening, everybody. Welcome back here to Norfolk for the Potters Resorts 2022 World Indoor Bowls Championships. Well, we've got another fantastic game for you this evening. We have Mervyn King and David Gull AMB taking on Dean Warrington of the United States of America and Scott Edwards from England. So, our officials for this game, our marker is Francis Fletcher and the umpire is Neil Bryce. Well, let's get the show on the road. Let's go live to the portable rink with our MC, Jack Jenkins. Yes, a very good evening. The first duo out this evening sees an Englishman paired with a Scotsman who now resides in America. Together, they have multiple open singles titles and a previous world singles quarter finalist. Featuring world ranked number 17, please give a warm welcome to Dean Warrington. Warmington, sorry, Dean Warmington and Scott Edwards. Their opponents this evening are ranked number seven and nine in the world. They are both Scottish Open World Pairs and former World Singles Champions. Please welcome out Mervyn King and Scotland's David Gawley, MBE. Commentary box of Jacob Jason Parkinson. Well, thank you very much and uh, welcome back, everybody. Very good evening to you all. Welcome to Potter's Resort here for the 2022 World Indoor Bowls Championships. Another game of open pairs. I've been digging deep for the commentary box <laughs> uh, list here. We started off with the world number one. We're now going to go to the current world champion, Mark Dawes. Good evening, Mark. Good evening, Jason. Um, you dug very deep to find me, to be honest. <laughs> there must have been some quite a few questions asked before me, and I got down to the bottom of the barrel. But Well, you know, I got carried away listening to that lift music. <laughs> so if you have just joined us, slightly different this year, going back to the two ball pairs. And the immediate difference is, obviously, we have changed the shirts. New supplier, looks a lot better, a lot more modern. And uh, we'll make a start of the black trousers and shorts. First game was white, second one black. You are allowed to choose which one you want to wear, as long as you wear the same in the pairs. I think the black looks quite nice with the, the black and the black collar. Yes, I've been instructed by my pairs. Oh. I know we're wearing black. I was told, mm. get some black trousers. I thought I saw him under your thumb. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Uh, black trousers, is it? Well, it is for me. You might have shorts. Way to go, eh? Yeah. Yeah. No, again, so this American pair, you know, been a bit of changing around, obviously, due to the travel restrictions and people having to do various tests. Dean Warmington was playing with Corey. Unfortunately, Corey tested positive just before he jumped on his flight. We've got Lauren here who jumped on a flight the next day to play in the singles. He's now in isolation, so he went back to the PBA ranking list and Scott Edwards was number two. <laughs> hey, he's picked his partner here. I was going to say, Scott will be fairly happy he's got drawn into this one if that carries on. <laughs> Dean is actually uh, born in Scotland. I think that would be the interesting thing, really, to see the, the dynamics. Obviously, two people who probably never even met before, yes. never mind played together. So it's just see you know see how they go together, and you know short selection might be the, the trickiest thing for them. But yeah, you kind of yeah, it's good when you know you play. Like I think you mentioned it. I think at the time you won it about you, you know each other's game when not to say anything when to say something. I think two ball pairs. There's not a lot of shots. Is it? So I was saying that with Nick earlier. It's, it's a lot of draw, draw, draw. Yeah, and that'll probably help. And if to be fair, if Dean carries on like that, it would just Scott won't need to be <laughs> to be honest. Um, but yeah, that that would be the difficult thing and it's just you know understanding what your partner plays really and that sometimes takes a bit of time but look they can <laughs> clearly if Dean carries on like that and Scott can obviously play they'll, they'll give Mervyn and uh, David a game. He 
Yeah, just putting a bit of cover in. Don't forget, if you've got things to do this evening and you can't stay with us, you can keep up to date with all the information on our Facebook, YouTube and World Bowls Tour website. It is a brand new website this year, so it's worldbowlstour.org this year, so just delete yeah. the dot .com and change it to dot .org. Almost a perfect first end here, I think. The Scott will probably try and just draw in again, I think. If he sits the Mervyn's bowl, he gets another and doesn't make the target any bigger. Yeah, there's not a lot of danger down that hand. He only arrived yesterday. <laughs> Can't have had much practice. Well, if you wanted to pick a first end, that would be it, really, between the pair of them. David just trying to reduce, I think, really. Well, that held up a lot longer than I thought it was going to do. Still the three down, though. Shots, Edwards. Zero three, first end. It's nice to have the crowd back. Absolutely, yeah. Last year was a very strange um, environment. Fantastic we could get the tournament on, really, to be honest, given the circumstances. But, yeah, lovely to have the crowd back. And, uh, yes, I suspect they'll... Yeah, it'd be nice for them as well, to be honest, to get to get back and actually, you know, some hopefully watch some very good balls. Yeah, obviously they have various different changeover days throughout the week for their packages. Their main one is a Friday, which is today, obviously, and day one falls on that. So... They'll come in during the night. Check length, set the rooms. Meters. End. Give him a chance. It's got to be wife to change partners now, I think. You've got an interesting game tomorrow, a pair of Crown Green players. I know, yeah, Jamie will be the odd one out, really. <laughs> Probably never played Crown before, but yeah, it should be interesting. I played Mark a few years back in the singles, actually, in the national singles. Um, um, get on pretty well with Mark. Don't know his partner, I think. Um. Yeah, Mark's been dabbling at both for a while, and he's predominantly a Crown Green player, I don't think. I, I think I saw him last year briefly. Um, but um, he's, uh, he really impressed me at Lincoln, to be fair. Yeah, look, I think the only difference really is the, is the tactical element of the game. I yes. think that's something that you need to learn. But oh, if you can send bowls, it doesn't really matter what surface you're on, really, in my personal opinion. But you know, I'm probably down selling it a little bit. But. It just makes the trip, it'll get back. How's done? <laughs> Mervyn does best, really, isn't it? Draw, draw, draw. Absolutely, yeah. He's been such a good player for you know a number of years. I'll not try and age him there, but uh, yeah, he has been. <laughs> he's he's on the, on the draw, he's arguably the best player on the tour, to be fair, and has been for a number of years. Yeah, he won the singles back in 2006, and I'm very surprised he's not won it again since then, but it just shows you the strength of the players, doesn't it? I think that's what it is, and it's fine margins as well. He's probably, you know, at times, you know, lost tight games, which we've all done, and, and you need to win those to win these kind of tournaments, because in, in the sets format, you, you know, you, a lot of games go to tie breaks, and then it's, you know, it can be one good ball, can change the whole game. Oh, not far away. To be fair, I hope the stand of this game carries on because it's been a good, <laughs> good first couple of events. It amazes me sometimes, like I was speaking with David Gullo 
last week. So when you know, have you been sending many bowls? He said not since the last semi-final. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, right. Why would you need to? <laughs> I think that's that's the key, and I think the fact that David is the one of the biggest practices on the tour. He knows that he's not played a lot in between, but he, he puts the hours in when he gets here, and I think that's that is the key. And and the rink is maybe slightly different to a normal, you know, indoor rink. Some of the shots you can play on it, um, and therefore just getting hours on the rink is is a huge, you know, a huge advantage really. And he, he knows that he hasn't played much, and he puts the time, and you know, all credit to him. Yeah, he's always here when that last bit of carpet goes down. You know, the, the ladies are no, normally hoovering around him. Yeah, he does. He does like a practice. <laughs> I remember the tournament at Blackpool, and uh, the manager there told me a few times that he was, you know, David's knocking on the door as, as he's opening up at half seven in the morning. So yeah, he does. He does uh, like to get his practice in early. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, nearly got it. Probably tell from Scott's comment he didn't like that one out of his hand. Had too many fitter holes. Well, at least we be getting most of this three back straight away. Yeah, not easy to add a third, but he's on the road here. Two shots, Keen and Gourlay. Set score, 2-3 two, after two ends. Just a quick reminder if you want on this uh, this afternoon's game, there's a, just a couple of uh, scammers just on the Facebook at the moment trying to get you to subscribe to a new World Bowl Store 2022 page. Please ignore that. That isn't ours. I have my device in front of me as, as they're coming on. I'm trying to block them as soon as they get on. We will never ask you for your credit card details. So Jack, thanks. it does look very meters. good, I must say. It's very, it is a fake site, but when you go onto it, it does look you know, very, very authentic, great pictures, but it's not a real site. So please uh, don't start giving anybody your credit card. I will keep an eye on my phone. People have nothing better to do, do they? <laughs> I was going to say, if anyone wants to give their credit card to me, I'll have it. But I mean, yeah, <laughs> probably, yeah, I don't. I think, some, like you say, I think some people spend their whole life trying to take money from people. But Has Jamie arrived yet? I've not seen Jamie. Yeah, I had a roll up with him um, just before this game, actually. So, yeah, he's uh, in situ. Quite interesting on the roll up, but there was a a little bit slower than it has been. Uh, Nicky said exactly the same. Yeah. Yeah. Just no. I don't. Not, don't get me wrong. It's, it's not a bad pace at all. But just a, maybe usually when it first goes down, it's quite quick and it yeah. settles down. Um, but yeah, a little the, maybe just a, a, a shade slower, which has helped me because it's taken the kind of issue of what balls I'm going to play without the equation because I, I, I can now I know exactly what I'm playing with. So that's probably helped a little bit. But um, yeah, just maybe a fraction slower. 
Have you gone for your just your standard tigers? Are you? Yeah, yeah, well, usually when it's been a bit quicker, I've gone with a, a set of pros that I've got, which are probably a swingy set of pros, um, and then sometimes switch during the tournament. But yeah, I'll just start with the tigers. I think they would find a reasonable line to a couple of practices before tomorrow. But I would, it'd have to do something strange before I, if I changed. Well, still quite a bit of room, 18 inches, two feet to get another. Just needs to stay now and he's good. A little bit of a ledge to sit on. Yeah, it's one of them awkward heads really. Scott would like to run at something, but there's a lot of gaps and holes and things. He's eyeing it up, but yeah, he's just decided he's going to have a run at it. it was Probably percentage, you can get at least one or two away. Good hit. Yeah, it may even. Did you stay in the rink? No, it's gone out of rink, and it would have been an interesting measure because there would <laughs> be the washing line, I think, to get <laughs> them in. But Mervyn's looking at it going, Francis, what do you think? My goodness. <laughs> that the green one, the front green one looks in. It's just whether the one in the ditch is, is all. Yeah, that's been conceded, but it's. I'm getting two tapes over here, I think. Well, they've got that f fishing line. <laughs> well, Scott Edwards just sat outside the top 16, sat at number 17, with 16 points. There's three players currently sat at ranked 14. Darren Bennett, Michael Stepney and Alex Marshall there sat on joint 14 with 28 points. So a little bit of, bit of a gap. Probably need to win at least two, I think, to maybe break in, maybe even three. Yeah, I think it's um, it'll be quite interesting, particularly with the you know obviously the the rankings and tournaments being missed and only having you know at the moment one tournament. Hopefully that'll be more this season, but um, that makes it quite interesting and it gives people a chance if they get a good run in the tournament to shake up the rankings really, and obviously keeps everyone in the top sixteen on their toes that know they have to win win games really. One shot, Warmington Edwards. Set score, 2-4 after three ends. Just as we mentioned earlier, there's a slight issue with the, the microphone at the moment, just rattling a little bit. We've got some new ones heading our way, should be here in the morning. Just sound a bit like a mouse. Thanks, twenty-four meters. Decent start, Dave. Well played, mate. Up you come. Well played. Oh. Game on here. Set so really well, actually, Dean. To be honest, I think that's that's the key. I mean, I, I'm not sure I've seen him across here. Certainly, in the last few years, I've not seen him across here. I don't think he's been over before. But that's a crucial on the portable. If you can just just settle and you know, particularly against one like Merv, you need to just get in, you know, in the game and give Scott a chance. Really. Yeah, I think. A couple of them came over a little bit earlier than normal, you know, with the not knowing what the travel restrictions were going to be. You know, the the guys from Canada came over a little bit early. They've been practicing at Acol, so Yeah, and I think maybe the the way it's worked this year, where there's not been many prelims games for the pairs, that's probably helped because they've been on you know the, the outside greens before, and, and you know it is completely different. So 
to get as much practice, know they were going to play on this green. That's probably helped them. They can just concentrate on here, and obviously you can see with the way Dean's playing, he clearly can play the game, and it's it's just hoping that the you know the difficulty for the overseas qualifiers is not playing it before, and it's it's settling. And sometimes they they don't always produce the best when you know clearly from you know it, they, they can play the game. Yeah, like you say, you don't have that uh, m much time in between the two games to get off a, a bowler's bar. That's running at probably about 13 seconds to something. That may be 19, 20 seconds. Yeah, and it's and it's just the whole, you know, you're playing on the bowler's bar perhaps in front of 10, 15 people and you've, you're coming into a, an arena which, all right, is maybe not the biggest crowd tonight, but it's still probably 50, 100 people in there. And it, you don't play that many games of bowls in front of that kind of crowd. So, you know, it is a different experience and you've got to get used to that. And it takes, you know... <laughs> I mean, it took me three or four years to even win a game down here. So <laughs> you, you kind of like, you know that you've got to, and that's just experience on the carpet and also in the surroundings. Just hanging back for bets, were you? <laughs> <laughs> I wish I was that capable, <laughs> to be fair. <laughs> Scott just wants to go past here, really. You don't want to concede so much stupid. David just wants a foot 18 inches pass because Scott's one down. He's going to try and play a shot at it, but <laughs> he's never got to worry about those, those balls. That's the key now. He's Can you get a little bit of a split back to the jack? Well, that's the shot you want to play, but if he just gets something wrong, there's so many red balls just a couple of feet past that he's, that's what he's worried about. And because it's only one, they both said it's only one. <laughs> You're, you're, you're almost taking one down kind of scenario and it's not something you want to do but you take a chance and you could go two or three down and David's got a ball to come as well so just kind of Scott's backhand just over the pace you know if he draws it perfect if he sits David's last ball that's a really good ball well not far away just needs to bend a little bit more look at that a great end. Perfect ball, really. That's all he had. Mervyn just said he's one down, I think. So <laughs> now the decision is exactly the same as what he had. If he gets the split and runs onto the jack, he's perfect. If he gets bu green ball onto red and nothing moves, you two or three down. So it's exactly the same decision Scott had. Um, there's no transfer to David, really. Maybe at four two down, you think, well, I've got to take a chance and maybe play it. Perhaps four two up, you might think, well, actually one down is not bad. But yeah, just looking at the angles and see. Just like his forehand runners as well, doesn't it? I'd be amazed if he didn't run at this with some kind of weight, to be honest. And yeah, there is a bad result, but there's also a lot of good results that could, you know, that could go for him. So. He's on a sponsored walk. <laughs> yeah, obviously Mervyn probably said something to him just as he was going. He's like, yeah, I'm not sure I like that one. I think I'll try this. <laughs> I would be surprised if it wasn't a four-hand runner with some kind of weight. Just nip the line. One shot, Warmington Edwards. Set score, 2-5 after four ends. So, three ahead. Are you enjoying your new uh, life at your new club? Spalding, is it? Uh, yeah, it's a lot of travel, <laughs> I'll be honest. <laughs> that was the next question. <laughs> yeah, I've not played there a whole lot, I'll be honest with you. Yeah, it's, look, there's some victim of circumstance with regards to my own club shutting. Um, and unfortunately, living in an area which is not highly populated within those clubs, 
so yeah, I had to make a decision as to how much I was going to play and also, you know, where that was going to be and wherever it was, it was going to involve a lot of travel. So. 26 minutes. I think it must be about two hours each way? Just under? It's probably more than Is that, really? to be fair, Gosh. yeah. yeah. I'd like to say, in a lot of the um, team events that I have been playing in, um, generally I would play away in there, actually, slightly nearer to my own house than, than Spalding is, so... It's just one of them things that uh, any club I went to, but didn't have been the same boat, unfortunately. So, yeah, if anyone wants to build a club in Manchester, that'd be lovely. <laughs> Shameful plug. Oh, you can't. <laughs> can't but try, can you? Chance if I'm uh, really, if you can get you know another really good close ball, but it's gotten a bit of pressure this end. Well, the pace was good, slightly wide, but I'll take that. Scott's now the manager of the Westlacott Indoor Bowls Club. To be a bit more adventurous if he wants to be. Make sure he reaches that. Yeah, I suspect he was so close with his last, he'll probably just try and sit on his own for shot. Quite a tricky shot to play anything over on the other side, so. Very similar ball. Certainly down a tighter line. Played, you know, a foot out with that is probably close. Yep. David will just draw to the ledge. Just quick. Two shots, King Goulding. Well, that two closes the gap. Set score 4 5 after five ends. Seeing the uh, mixed pairs, you're playing with the very experienced Sandra Bailey from Ireland. Yeah, I've never. Um, Played Sandra with Sandra before, so um, yeah, it'd be interesting. Yeah, I think I first experienced the mixed pairs last year, so um, yeah, it'd be nice to have another go at it, really. Won well, many, many Irish titles. As I've looked through her player profile, an awful lot of titles. 
That sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't say she had a rucksack. Jack Twenty eight fingers. <laughs> I was going to say. Can she send my two balls as well? Around it then. Well played, mate. Sit down. Fucking <laughs> one point, didn't he? Round it, <laughs> sit down, no <laughs> fells. <laughs> <laughs> just coming obviously people just joined about the new trousers just to clarify <laughs> so in the singles the singles players can choose wh whatever they want black or white trousers or shorts in the pairs the team chooses the color and then you can wear a combination of a short or a trouser Well, if you can just pick the jack up, has done. That's a great ball because that's not an easy shot to play on there with two feet a yard of pace to, to pull it there. You'd pay some good money to play those on a regular basis. Just a backhand draw for David, I think. Well, Harry. Harry. Mr. Mr. Front is close. Well, nearly just wobbled round it. We hold one. Which one is the one to green? Your ball. Middle one, I think. Yeah, yep. Well, yeah. tip Jay, sure eyes are good from looking at that angle. Said <laughs> that was a middle ball. <laughs> Train driver eye. <laughs> That's what it is. Similar kind of ball for Scott, really. To be honest, if he gets down to. Uh, I'll get through that the port, campus. Well, yeah, you? that's the perfect one, really. Somewhere around. It's nearly done it. Doesn't want to just get to the jack. Hasn't done. Brilliant. They're playing some good stuff, aren't they? Really good stuff, to be honest, yeah. yeah Considering it's your first game on the carpet, it's some, some really good balls played. Two shots, Wilmington Edwards. Set score, 4 7 after 6 ends. So, 9 end sets. Still 3 ends to go. No major issue.
such a fast game anyway. Two ball pairs. There's not much hanging around. Yeah, there's. It's, you've, like you say, the majority of the shots um, are on the draw, unless there's a tight end. You'll, you'll, you'll go for the runner. There's maybe a little bit slightly less tactics in the three ball game, but like you say, yeah, you thanks. can maybe guarantee the time minutes. a little bit better. On the, the evening games, Mark, and correct me if I'm wrong, when it gets to halfway through the first set, does it go a little bit slower, do you think? Because of the, obviously the, the outside temperatures. A lot of short balls just starting to be played. Yeah, it can do, to be honest. It, quite often, and you'd think it would quite often, it happens during the middle of the day when you're the quickest, but sometimes the first game in the morning, 10 o'clock, is um, kind of, a, it sometimes can be its fastest at that point. And I think wow. maybe it's the easiest to adjust to because you've had a half an hour practice beforehand. And you maybe you've practiced early in the morning a lot of times as well. Whereas, you know, this game, you know, sometimes it can be, you know, just maybe like they say, a bit slow. You start off and it's it's maybe not, you know, not so bad. And then it just slows, you know, two feet. And you don't always notice it when you're playing until you start dropping like two feet short, and then you you struggle to adjust really. So do you think someone at your level, if you come to see your first games, let's say an evening game, would you try and practice in the evening slot in that evening slots, or do you not really bother? <laughs> You would if you could. A lot of the games are obviously scheduled at similar times, so you struggle to get a practice session yeah. at your game time because there's always three or four games scheduled at the same time. Um, yeah, I would if if I was playing morning, then I would yeah maybe try and get a, mo a morning or two practice. Um, I mean, typically, uh, I think our game in the pairs is the second game in the afternoon. So I mean, we had a, ra a roll up maybe half five, which would just be the end of that game. But it can change so much from like half an hour to the next, really. So I think the, the practice is more just to get make sure you're happy with the balls you're playing with. And, and you know, yeah, you, you might find a line. Sometimes you don't want to play brilliant in practice because, you know, it might change in the game kind of thing, really. But, the, yeah, the half an hour before or the couple of trial ends will give you a bit of a, a better sight. And you've no adrenaline when you're practicing. That's the key. You yeah. know, it, when you, you know, you kind of get into a game and you, you probably send them two feet a yard further because you've got the adrenaline running through your, your veins rather than you know in the practice where you, it's obviously you're trying but it's not quite the same so well the worst end of the match this one as well which is when you don't <laughs> yeah drop a stupid count don't you sometimes in these ends where it's you know there's nothing yeah you just think there's plenty of room it's slightly different length isn't it but Yeah, I mean, this is one of them ends where Scott may well cover here, and <laughs> you realistically don't think that David's going to play it, but equally, if Scott puts one right on top of it, then he could just run a, a jack and get a free on the spot kind of thing. So. the front really. That's odd slow. Two shots warming St Edwards. <coughs> Set score 4-9 after seven ends. And don't forget from tomorrow we're back with you at the normal times. First day today so we always start in the afternoon just to get the prelims played. Tomorrow back to 10 o'clock. Kicking off is Stuart Anderson and Darren Burnett from Scotland, taking on the Irish qualifiers, Mark McPeak and Stuart Bennett. Well, they're no strangers to this rink, neither are they? No, both have played here on at least one, if not more occasions, um, and both 
you know, Irish internationals, good players. So that, that that should be a good game. That'll be a tough game for uh, Darren Stewart, to be honest. Nice to see all the American supporters on. Sporting Dean, welcome. Please, so far, to be honest, hey, yes. there he's playing, and also the scoreline as well. Oh, they'll have t shirts made when he gets back. Oh, so this needs to be 23 meters, obviously, is what they've gone back. Must be just over, I would suggest. Jack length, 23 metres. All over the track, mate. Yes, D. Great start, but fast, mate. Great start again from Dean. He was probably quite happy that that was just about up that jack length, so. Irvin and David need to score this end, otherwise, uh, it'll be set over. Again from Dean there. Mm. One on it, one just passed. Yeah, certainly settled quick. Well, good second. One green. Yeah, Mervyn and David will be looking at you're looking at least a two here really that you want. You know, I mean, one keeps him in the set, but you kind of. You're hoping you're not likely to get a four. It does happen, but you're kind of looking at maybe trying to get a two. And Scott and Dean will just be trying to, you know, put balls in there. Scott probably just try and draw another one somewhere about. Yeah, at least try and get yourself played into the game. Sometimes you've got to keep plodding away, haven't you? Just keep plodding away. Yeah, particularly, in, you know, things can change so quickly in sets games as well. And you know, like even if you think the set's gone, don't just give up on a couple of ends because you might. You know, if you've maybe been struggling the fraction, you, you don't just find something in those ends and take it into the second set. Good again, let's go. Forearm runners coming out again. He's a decent result. Oh, he's been unlucky. Well, this one will be passed. It's just where passed. <laughs> yeah, it's how far you want to put it, isn't it? Would you try and just get slightly past the furthest bowl and force him to play a bit? A bit cuter. I think you do. I think you, if you're going to miss, miss pass. If you split the two, then great. But I think you go pass because he runs in the ditch and you're two down. So if he if he trails it in there, then you know, like, kind of say, well played. Same ball for David. He just wants ball first to take all the pace off and run run onto the jack after that. We get back. No. Three shots in the first set, Warmington Edwards. Well, what a fantastic start for the player playing in the American position. I think sometimes as well, Mark, as, as a qualifier when you come, as long as you don't get that 
let the crowd bother you. you you've nothing to lose, have you? You've no pressure. Absolutely not, because, you know, most most of the crowd will have seen Mervyn and David play before, and they'll be thinking, oh, well, they're going to win this game, you know, etc., etc. And, and like you say, if you just settle and, you know, don't let the crowd bother you, then absolutely, you know, well in the game. And in some ways, from, from Dean's perspective, whilst he's not played with Scott before, it might help because Scott's had experience on the portable before. That might just, you know, have made him feel a little bit at ease and, and actually Jack Langs, might have helped. And, and a half you know, both have played great, to be fair. Mervyn and David haven't played brilliant, but they haven't done massive amounts wrong and they've got to beat, what, 12-4 in the set? You know, so you just, you know, not not really got in it. Yep. That can change so quickly as well in sets play. Yeah, Mervyn and David have gone a bit longer here, I think, just to try and see if that'll make a make a difference. I think I did see um, Dean rolling up before, and I, I, I had a feeling he was playing with internationals. Yes, I saw it before he was playing with an international. Yeah, yeah good bowl, isn't it? Good strong bowl. Yeah, which may make this length a little bit more difficult than the, the shorter ones, for just trying to find a line, to be honest. So, yeah, it might be a reasonable tactic from Mervyn and David, this. Well, just shows you the power of having the jack. Yeah, one good ball here from David puts Scott under a lot of pressure, really. You can beat, you know, both of Mervyn's, put one right on it, it puts Scott under a lot of pressure. Needs to lock on to something, has done. You don't. Well, driving down there. Are you one down? No, one down. That far behind, four inches. Are you right there, or? If I get the other one, I would reach it there. Reach it? No? <laughs> Draw an off it, or just drive it to it. David's trusting Merv on this one. <laughs> yep. I get back to it. Oh, will he stick wide? If I sit there, short one down, we go one down? Yes, probably. Does it look better to try and draw off mine there? You could just reach the last and fall back in again. You've got options either side. What is mine for Jack Eye? Two balls pass, maybe. You did. Finish off it though. I think your weight could have been around here. I mean, it's locked in, so if you're drawing down onto it there, it's, it's safe enough to draw that. Yeah. He's probably jinxing now. He's going to sit on his own and fall on the jack. <laughs> now he's worried about a danger off the overhand. He's going to sit off and fall on the jack. That's this. You start overthinking the game sometimes. We all do it, like, but. How many times you do it? You play the you play the other hand so you don't get that ball, and you turn the <laughs> yeah. same ball in anyway. Yeah, well, it's a safe base, I think. Yeah. 
One shot, Wilmington Edwards. Zero one, fresh down. We'll see the jack a bit shorter again. Certainly made the trip. Maps up probably two and a half yards. So length twenty six meters. Three yards. Yeah, perhaps a bit perhaps a bit further than you would have wanted, but I don't want to run the risk of having the uh, measure out again, perhaps. Yeah, it's difficult, isn't it, just delivering the jack just over the pin. Starter, mate. Well played. Perfect. Yeah, stick with it there. Slip through there, be really good. Yeah, ropes thereabouts. Effort D. Great effort, bud. Up you come. Well, it can just reach up to the jack, doesn't want to get through the two. A little bit unlucky there, really. Half a ball tighter, probably could have just used that and got back. One green. Just getting up to the red ball and fall back. Make another. Probably maybe. Make it close. Yep, another. Yeah, three. Two down. Two. <laughs> I think it could be a four on again. Yeah, it doesn't change the shot. Narrows the gap, if anything. To hold up. David. Yeah, yeah. Mate. Got it. Perfect. Brilliant ball. Got about a yard, maybe maybe four feet to draw the shot. Don't watch it. Wait for it to pass the T, then have a yeah, rough guess. Pretty good, I think. Mm. Come up. Come up. Sure. Choices for David here, either try and run the run the ball off or try and draw it. Yeah. I think maybe run it off. Uh, he's ramming his first, hasn't he, as well, and it kind of it's not an absolute guaranteed draw, it's a tricky length, so uh, yeah. Oh, again, could it end state for two, even? 
Ben. Happy to get it off, like. Ben. Ben. <laughs> One shot, Warmington at Edwards. Set score, 0-2 after two ends. Jack Planks, 25 meters. Needs to make the trip. Yeah, just uh, not push through that. slower inside line which doesn't make any sense in the law of <laughs> the laws of physics but it is yep. actually true <laughs> yeah I remember that <laughs> can only be that the carpet is as it's most stretched going over the bank yeah uh, it, it's strange because you, you, you do play a lot of balls down there and it do, does hold too the middle red. but it is perhaps two feet a yard and you, you think oh no it's just me I've just not sent it mm. hard enough but then you'll play mm. the same way on the wider line and it will go further and you know, it's better players than me that have said it, so I'm thinking it's not me just trying to, you know, talk myself out of a short ball. <laughs> Which we do, to be fair, at time. First time Scott's missed. When Dean Dean's not missed often, but when he's missed, generally Scott's gone straight in, and that's the first time that he's given David a bit of a chance here to, you know, put, put the pressure on. Yeah, Should there's quite a bit of room in there. Yeah, it, uh, like I say, uh, the couple of ends that Dean has missed, he's managed to get straight in Scott. So he's given David a chance here to put, you know, one good ball puts a little bit of pressure on Scott with his last, really. No. He's done what's asked of him. Looks like the slush puppy dog, doesn't he? Has his little tongue sticking out the side, like a bit like Mark Royal sometimes, yeah. Oh, Mark Royal does do that. Yeah, slush puppy dog. Needs to be dead weight on that line again. He's gone through again. Oh, this is going to be a cheap four, I think. Yeah, they'll be a bit disappointed with that, won't they? Yeah, I mean... <laughs> happens we all play bad balls but yeah you just hope you don't both do it the same same end really yeah, that's that's the key well should be back in time to get another just needs to stop three shots King Gourlay oh, just the three Set score, 3-2, three, after three ends. Yeah, David will be disappointed with that one, really. He would have hoped for a four there, really, with the room he had. Yeah, definitely. But still, just 
Let's take the take the lead. First time they've been in the lead all, all game on that set. It's just strange. Sometimes you just scratch around, don't you? It's, it's like any competition, isn't it? You always say you try and get through your first game, and then you, you know, like I think the last couple of times you played, you know, you, you've always said like yourself, you, well, you're your own worst critic, anyway, you don't, ever, <laughs> don't you ever praise yourself, <laughs> but you, you always seem to have, you know, a bit of a ropey first game, and then you just get better and better and better and better all the way through. Yeah, I think it's just, just time on the carpet, isn't it? And yeah, and I mean, in any competition, you're likely to have at least one bad game, and any, anyone who's won anything of any note would say you've got to win that game that you maybe don't play your best kind of thing and and in pairs the massive thing is that you've got somebody else who can help you out you know if and, and the best pairs are the ones that maybe do it alternate ends you don't always have to play four great balls if you do that's great but most games you're not going to both play brilliant all the time and it's it's helping helping your mate out really so yeah on, <laughs> on quite a few occasions Jamie's helped me out in the pairs and then you know maybe I put myself into it a little bit better and play better in the later games Mervyn playing with an ace? Yeah, Merv's one who does change a little bit, but yeah, the, I would imagine it will be an ace. And who knows what Scott's playing with? Because, I mean, I had a spell where it, I reckon it was. Drake's pride now, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, at one point, he, I reckon he played with four yeah, different right. sets and three different makes in the same tournament, yeah, so. He's, he's definitely yeah, likes to yeah, <laughs> likes yeah. to change. Yeah, that's enough. I, pl I played against him in Swansea at the qualifier. I'm sure they're Drake's pride. Yeah, well. Shot ball short of it. The sh shot ball is perfectly jack high. Two down, is it? Two down. I've not set up great at it's all. Straight at it, really. For it. Yep. Well, if he's, if he's close to his own, he'd be very unlucky not to come back into the head, I guess. Yeah, if it's two down anyway, isn't it? I think, yeah, he's hit the target and hope. I think so. I think he's, he's seen the shot he wants to play and just go straight down. from the crowd will tell you that <laughs> they missed. Yeah. <laughs> I thought he might have just played it on the other hand. Yeah, it's a personal choice. Yeah, I think it's quite, it's quite a narrow, like I say, it's a narrow gap on either hand, I think. He, it's, it's almost maybe, if he's going to go the hand he played, perhaps a little bit quicker. Um, I mean, Dave is just looking at with the angles and stuff I mean there's nothing past the jack anyway you'd, you'd almost be tempted to just draw and if you yeah. get a foot past your foot past probably counts as well so I mean then it, it covers the, the back you're not as long as he's wide of the the red ball it's not going to cause any issues but I'm going to play the backhand He's basically saying, "Go ahead, you hit it. Got it covered." There is a shot there, but you're just turning me down for second. Or if you're under, you could come down to the right. Well, they're slipping round me to this one for second, turning me down for second. Yeah. They're all there. Well, what is it for Jack? Quite past, is it? Yeah, ball and a half past. It's the second shot. 
not the worst call from Dean, I don't think, to be honest. I yeah. don't think it's... Uh, uh, you could, run, could run it again, if like you say, and I think that's it's good that Dean's given that option. It's whatever Scott looks best from the map, but if he does run, I just want to think, well, actually, you know, sit that in for second. I think he's two down now anyway. I think he'd be very unlucky to, to drop a four. He could probably easily drop a three, but I think he'd be very unlucky to drop a four. Yeah, it'd only be the front ball into the jack is the only bad result for him. Two shots, King Gourley. Uh, two shots to Mervyn and David. 5 2 the Set score. 5 2 after four ends. Jack length 27 meters. for moving. Quite, but it's made it a little bit more difficult for Dean. There now. Yeah. Just, so, oh, just over draw be nice, but try and draw the shot. Okay. Pace again there, David. The right yep. line. Oh, two two feet. Last ball's that shot. Right. Over the foot. Probably not in the way on the draw. Scott will just try and draw around it. Make the trip is not too far away. Great up online, just needs a rump. Turn it over. 
the one. So just the one, yeah. Yeah, it doesn't look very pretty. I think that's all I've got. Two fingers last, I think. Yeah. It must look a nightmare yeah, from the map. That's mat. all I've got, mate. Not to see too much. Yeah, be. Sometimes it makes it a little bit easier that you've got no kind of thought process. It's literally two feet out. There's no other shot. That everything else is bad, really, for him, so. Stop now. Very good try. One shot, King Gole. <laughs> Set score 6 2 after five ends. Don't forget, we are uh, keeping you up to date if you can't stay with us throughout the championships. We have just slightly changed the World Bowls Tour website trying to access the old one to get into any information it's not there it's still there www.wallballstour but just change the last bit to dot org not dot com the play Jack schedule's Banks, on there the and draws are all on there and uh, we're also posting results as well after each round and there's a big picture of you on there actually Marcus. oh my word take that off don't <laughs> go on that website <laughs> oh it's quite frightening oh I thought it was a Halloween special <laughs> Oh my word. <laughs> I was going to say I'll go on that website, but I don't know if I can bother now. It's bad enough looking in the mirror anymore, never mind on a website to see it. Just change the dynamics of the game. Yeah. The jack length a bit longer, isn't it? Just, just tends to be Mervyn and David. They've got him first. Um, Dean drops a little, few balls short, maybe on the, on the longer jack length, um, which has just started to, you know, give Mervyn and David the advantage, really. Balls leave the jack. Needs to make contact with something nice and solid. Well, better, it's just the one. The one, mate. Um, probably here now. What's the gap there? That bowl is that short. What's the gap between my ball and Jack? Two and a half inches. David's going to draw around the backhand now. Just slip his own ball, he's perfect really, Could, you know, even a foot past it, it offers some protection. The line's pretty decent, it's just about the pace. 
not reaching, is it? No. That won't help Scott a lot. There's still a shot there for you, just inside. Just a dead draw, isn't it? It'll get back yeah, just through the hole. How far short's by there? Three inches off the jack, is it? Yeah, it will be, yeah. Yeah, the angles aren't set to play anything over, I don't think. If he gets, if he got his own, he probably, he probably right, both will disappear, yeah. if you know what I mean, so. Yeah. Yeah. Just draw. Does it look like mine could go without getting the jack? Yeah. No way, once we are. Nope. There's only four in it, four ends to play. They only need to tie this set. Yeah, similar ball. He might even use the, the wide ball, really. I don't know if it starts to bend and just gets a little, you know, inside on the wide ball, is it's almost the, the target area. If you get a little bit more bend, you're good. One shot, King Gourlay. Well, David and moving on a bit of a run now, four consecutive ends. Set score, 7-2 seven seven two after six ends. Jack length, 28 metres. A game of two lengths. Yeah, I was just thinking that. I mean, if it does go to a tie break, it'd be interesting to see what happens with the uh, the toss and whether the person would take the jack given the jack length. I mean, it's we've still got a couple of ends to go before we get there, but I would think both teams will be thinking about it. If it, um, particularly if Mervyn and David win this end. Yeah, it's a difficult one, isn't it? Most people would want the the last bowl, but like you say, if it's do you take the chance and play your length? And suppose it can come down to a little bit of fortune, then can't it? Yeah, you know what? When it's in the, these kind of games where it's been a, a you know noticeable difference on the jack length, you almost hope you lose a toss. <laughs> you don't have to make that decision. Then is what I always find. I, if I'm like that, where I'm thinking I, I should probably keep the jack, I want to lose a toss, and it's not my fault. Then it's someone else who's chosen. It's a strange mentality, but it just makes it like because you probably know you should keep the jack and yeah. go on the jack length you prefer, but actually you like that element of. If you've got a last ball, nobody can answer, you know, for what you, what you've done. If it's a bit of fortune, you know, then that, then so be it, kind of thing. So. I remember watching a one ball a one ball playoff, and there was a massive hoo ha. Who you know? Do I go first in the one ball each, and they took a second, and the, the guy that decided he'll go first sent it in the ditch. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's not what you want to do <laughs> at any stage of any game. <laughs> oh, Leamington, yeah, it's quite funny. Oh, well played. Be tempted to just run at that, I think, down the backhand. Yeah. Stay at the game where it is. May as well. <laughs> you don't need to watch the ball when you hear Scott's reaction. Yeah. <laughs> you get a noise first, don't you? Yeah. I'm sure that one he hadn't even let go of it before he <laughs> was given it. But. Well, another shot here, that's the set. Back. Well, yeah. yeah, I think yeah. you. Just go deep on it. 
just go deep and you know if Scott hits it then you probably only one down if he runs in. Again. Yeah, I'll take a yeah. chance, mate. I would. Yeah. He might have the respawn actually as it sits. If he gets tight and hits the ball on, and Jack can both go off the side of the ring, then you know what the shot anyway, really. Mm. Really closer. Yep, good hit. Gone off the side of the rink. So he's been unlucky there as well. I think he's got his own ball that was the nearest, the nearest to the spot. So. Two to red, is it? Two shots, King Gourley. Good hit, and he didn't have a lot of position, so maybe a little bit unfortunate. Drop a two. Set score, 9 two. Maybe a one. Seven ends. Good, but yeah, so I need a three this end. The crowd like a tie break, don't they? Yeah, it gets. You know, Get ready for the show. Keeps them on the edge of the seats, yeah, before the show. Jack length, 29 metres. Also this year we have got the World Under 25s event back as well. That's later on in the week. Am I in that, James? <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> You was under 25 about 30 years, you were in that event. I'm not sure it was quite 30 years ago, but it feels like it at times. That was the best when you won it and you won them bus tickets. Yes, that was. I uh, <laughs> can't obviously mention the company, but that was good, yeah. Use those tickets. <laughs> Six hour drive to London for the presentation <laughs> from, from Manchester was wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I've seen the whole of the country on that, on that bus journey. So similar to your last, down to Jack would be nice. Sit there, it's good. I'm a drink for that later. I was going to say, you won't see too many of those played over the next uh, couple of weeks. Absolutely perfect. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure I just heard Mervyn team not supposed to be able to play that shot. <laughs> Is that what he said? <laughs> yeah, I think he did. <laughs> Three, they need to keep this afloat. Yeah, a bit of a chance here for Scott, really. Particularly the way it's sat as well, it's, a, it's not really a massive target. If you can just roll another one in and not make it any bigger. It's a little hit something, I think. Okay. Two, 
Last bowls and never shot. Please, three. Trying to beat that, aren't you? Really? Yep. Just trying to get inside it. Not sure. Looking at his. Uh... Chance here for Scott, just needs to drop a little bit of weight off his last, I think. Line's decent, needs to put the anchor out. Yeah, that'll be enough. Four shots, warming to Edwards. That was all set up from Dean's fantastic Set score, 9-6 after 8 ends. Before he played that ball, it looked, we were basically thinking, tie break there, yeah, that, that yep. finished that end, and then one ball's just changed that end completely all around with a perfect trail of about two feet a yard. Still a tough task to get a free this end, but, you know, gives themselves a chance, that's all you can do. Yeah, definitely. Jack length, 24 metres. Number one. One down with that. Yes. Yeah. Just misses his own and he gets right back to it. That'll be enough as well. Good to move the jack too, whether it be just up down his backhand, um, just inside uh, Dean's ball, or whether it, but the forehand's there. He seems to be looking at eyeing up the backhand, but it's probably either way, really. It's not an easy shot either way with the pace he's got to play, but maybe thinks he might get a bit more turn down his backhand, so that's maybe why he's looking at that. Thinking about it. Please. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's just what he feels comfortable. It looks it looked at his forehand down the other side. Oh but I think trying to turn you up a couple and through onto the jack or yeah. get down to their bolt might give us a chance. That's right, Scott, give yourself six options. I think <laughs> that's why he's playing this hand in yeah. all fairness, rather than just playing the other one where he's probably just got one option. It's all like looking for the percentage, isn't it? Yeah, particularly with this shot, which isn't that easy. Um You've got, you've got to give yourself a chance. Just needs to hold its head. Might get the other ball away, which might help. Just turned it enough to make it a one ball. 
I think we just need to put one that's not sat next to it. Yeah, I mean, to be honest, you, you want third. I mean, ideally third just round covering where Mervyn's put his foot really yep. is perfect because it stops the trail and he's still third so he can't get the ball away for the uh, three you need. Back to your puts one there, Scott's really got no shot. Just try and hit it and take the two away, Mr. Jack. And, yeah. Chance. Yeah, when he was looking with his first, just out towards where Dean's foot is now, just kind of get it out there somewhere. It's not, it's not easy to get it out there and your ball go there as well, but. It's almost, it's, it's maybe looking at the same kind of shot as you did before or trying to run down the balls on the forehand. It's just what the whether one of the red balls goes with it if you come off the red ball is the, is the issue. If you're playing down his backhand and getting across and back, you know. You've got to remember he's left-handed, yeah. Jace. Yeah, I, was <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking thumping first and I was changing, yeah. Um, yeah, he can, he can run off the pack, can't he, back to the jack. I think either way that's probably the, um, the perfect result. It's, it's just whatever he, he thinks is the best to... He's got to get, keep his own ball in there as well. So, switch into his forehand. Similar weight to his last, I think, was probably enough. This is difficult, isn't it? That difficult, yeah, difficult. Yeah. <laughs> One shot in the second set. King Gourlay, match tie break. So, how quickly a game changes. Which is Mervyn King and David Gourlay take this second set. Ten shots to six. Into a tie break we go. It's a best of three ends, so the first team to win two ends will go through to the Mervyn next round. Mervyn won the toss and has elected to give Dean the jack on mm. the first end. Yes, that's the interesting bit we were talking about. They've won the toss, but even though it has been a game of two lengths, it's that crucial last ball mark. Yeah, absolutely. I think that's... that's the, there's not many people. A couple of... A couple of times I've played in games where the person's kept the jack, um, but yeah, more often than not, you just, you, you, well, I guess it's confidence and, and that you feel that you can do something with your last ball, you know, and then the other person's got no uh, no right to reply, really. Yeah, it's just, if you've got that last ball, if someone gets a fluke with their last ball, you've, you've got a chance, I mean, there's nothing worse than not having the last ball Chuck and you lose on a fluke meters. and you don't have anything you can do about it. Absolutely. how many shots you score per end it is just per ends one so they sometimes play just as a tie break really yeah don't probably slightly more aggressive yeah you don't need to build anything up do you no no if there's you'll see people maybe run a little bit earlier than they would do in a normal game without the worry of dropping a three or a four because you know it doesn't make any difference so. Short, aren't they? Don't want to be short on a tie break. Yeah. <laughs> the only time is if you've nailed it with your first and you block the <laughs> runner, I suppose. But yeah, yeah, the percentages are even then you'd want to be passed rather than short. It's probably the first ball moment sent down his forehand in the whole game. And it's bloody perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Two red. It's not made the target much bigger either. No, no, it's. I think maybe Scott will just draw up to it and sit on it. You can sit either of the balls down that draw hind, can't you? <laughs> yeah, I think so. I think there's not a massive target, and you kind of committed yourself to not having a lot else if you don't get it with your first. Backhand shot. 
back and it's a good job there's no cameras in the commentary box James, for you trying to work out which Andy was playing then to be honest it's <laughs> the last time you're in the box give him a secret away <laughs> well just trying to arrive at this a couple of options needs to bend great try doesn't want the gap yeah he's done it well played it away yes yeah because if you hit the jack it's one ball singles on the respot isn't it pretty much and then if you if you do get the ball you might get Mervyn's back one but you're still going to be a late shot with his other so yeah I would do Tip that early. Got it. Yeah. The chat first. Oh, well, like you said, Mark, it's that one ball singles, isn't it? Really? Uh, yeah, and he's, the advantage he's got there is knocked his ball through as well. So if Scott puts it anywhere, he can run it off. He's got two options, hasn't he? Either the draw, if if he's got a bit of room, or he can just run the ball off because he's going he's to have second anyway. Slight more of an advantage being the left-hander on this hand. A little bit more room to play with. Holds it up a bit. Not only why with that one particularly, but... Well, Tempting right distance. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> To be fair to Scott, other than absolutely nailing it right on it, that's not a bad ball. Yeah. He's kind of tempted David into the thinking, well, hang on, it's it's what, yeah. probably 14 to 16 inches off. It's it, Of course it's drawable, but you've just ran with your first, so it's... And you can get the ball or the jack as long as the jack doesn't go off the side again. If it goes in the ditch, you're OK. If it goes on the side, he'll lose again. Get his feet position. Is he drawing? Nope. Being quicker. Got the jack, wants it solid. Yeah, well done. <laughs> First end, King Gourlay. <laughs> you know, usually people will be happy getting the shot on yep. that end, but I think probably because he was going for the ball and he was, you know, like say, you know, 18 inches wide, he didn't want to, you know, over celebrate. I think he probably thought he was quite close to the ball and it just held all the way to the jack. Oh. Mervyn and David take the first tie break end. So it just showed that last ball. Yeah, and it and it kind of shows the tactics here because Dean and Scott have kept the jack on the next end. Mm. So it just shows, you know, it's personal preference, isn't it? And, and they'll argue that they kind of dominated that end from one ball's, you know, killed them kind of thing. So Jack length, 23 metres. Go on, then, mate. We haven't got a statistic on it, isn't it, really? Just to see, you know, so period of time, as in selected ends or the amount of uh, last balls people have played. Yeah, but it probably wouldn't be as big an advantage last balls players would think. Um, I think it arguably it is an advantage, but I don't think it'd be perhaps as big a percentage as you would think that, you know, in your mind it's like, oh, well, it's, you know, it's almost a, a done deal, you're going to give it away, but actually it's probably not as big as that if you actually got a statistics on it. Okay. It's paid off, he's played a good one. Just a foot away. Someone's just giving the game away there on the feed, Mark. I've just spotted it. Happy 25th birthday. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That's why I said about the under 25. Yeah, that's right. I didn't realise it was your birthday. I wonder why you were hinting. Just gone too old. That's what it was. Happy birthday. Good. 
You must be over 30 now. A long way over 30, yeah. I'm a lot nearer to 40. Young looking, that's what I like to say, Jace. No one listens to me, but I like to say it. I've got the lights off. <laughs> well, moving right back to the jack. It's probably just enough, I think. The David's reaction. Oh, one clap, maybe not. <laughs> yeah, this is a two clap would have been enough. Both, both had a good look at it. Closely guarded secret who shot his. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but doesn't matter a massive amount, really. But. Just choose your shot. Get it sent. Yeah, I think. From the way they was worried about it, that maybe they think the shot and they don't want to sit the red one down on at the back if he just hangs the ball wide. But and equally, he's played this hand pretty well when he's been down here as well. So it's just personal preference. The way touch it down there. I don't want to touch you down there. <laughs> oh, so David's confident he's won. <laughs> going off there, they don't want to touch anything. That's not ideal. Yeah, back one and then the shot. It's hard, isn't it? The backhand would be safer if he's not wanting to turn them in, but like I said, he could just nudge it and it could fall against the buyers. I think he'd be unlucky on that hand, but yeah, you're right. It's, it, you just feel you want to get a closer ball, really. I think with mine there, I'll probably ledge you off and just sit those down. So I'm going to try and draw a go. <coughs> if, I, if I sit you down, it does enough, doesn't it? Well, David must think he's on. Yeah, yeah I think I think they both now. Um, I think that David and Mervyn are shot. to get to the, the jack or just turn his own in. Great try. To stop. Well played. Great. Well, his last ball is actually coming very useful now. And I think that's why you put it there. You almost said, thought, if Scott does draw the shot, then I've got a chance of doing something with it, you know. Because now if you'd think any hit on anything, then he's going to get a shot out of it. Not that it looks a great target, in all fairness. Um, when they move away from it, you'll see it's not a not one you'd be wanting to go at. But <laughs> there's a lot of balls at the front that you could you'd kind of play into an area and get a pretty good result out of it. Yeah, and Scott's last ball will travel with the jack as well. Definitely, you know, it spends how far the distance is when it finishes. Absolutely. Concentrate on hitting the on hitting the target. Well, it needs a bit of fortune now. Second end, Warmington Edwards. Well, we're going right to the wire. The last end of the tie break. The rules change again just slightly. And actually nominate to kill the third end of a tie break. You can only kill it once, but you can nominate as many times as you like. If you remember. <laughs> yeah, well, yes, that has uh, <laughs> that's happened quite a few times. Not sure how many times that one person would have sent the jack in all three tie break ends. To be honest, that would have been probably not all that often. No. To be honest. 
Check length, 23 and a half metres. I think third end you would definitely give it away. I think if he gets to that, you just wouldn't want to get beaten by that. First end, I think, is probably more of a 50-50. But yeah, third end, I think you just go with the... Uh, we, at least we've got a chance. Whatever the position is, unless someone's ran the jack in the ditch and sat on top of it, you're going to have a chance with your last ball to do something. So. Well, line's pretty decent. Come on, mate. Oh, oh, come on, up you come. Decent start, huh? Eh? Yeah, good start. Not bad. It's been a really good game, this, from start to finish. Yeah, probably deserves to be a, a last end of the time, really, to be fair. I don't think either team has, you know, both deserve to win the set they won, if you know what I mean. It's yeah. been, a, you know, some loose it's balls, but also a lot of good it. balls as well. Dead draw it around it. <laughs> Big deep breath there from Dean. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting to see what Scott plays here. I mean, he can just get round the front ball on his backhand, but with his forehand being open, you think if you want to play a really good ball, could be there, but whatever he prefers. Just don't want to get wrecked on his own short ball and just fall off him. You're still a foot away, really. Play the draw mark, backhand draw. Yeah, I would think so. It yeah, beats the back green one, he's close. Yep. Pace will decide. Very good, yeah, it's good here. Yeah. This is an exceptional ball. Yeah. <laughs> well, Scott Edwards has one ball left now. Keep them in this world open pairs. Well, just look at the angles. Uh, yeah. He's either got a dead draw on his, his forehand. Um, or he may potentially even nominates to kill. If he gets a ball onto ball, it could stay in no jack. Yeah, I think he's just about to nominate to kill. Scott has nominated to kill the end with this ball. Yeah. The trouble is that the red ball could lock onto the back green ball. It depends where the front green ball goes. Does it stay? Does it shuffle nearer? Or does yeah. he lose it completely? That's the issue. He probably wants just the out, just to the outside of that front green ball, and he'll get it. And the red will go past. It might even take hit the back green, and both the two reds will disappear. Um, but yeah, just outside of that front, I just hit the target, but I mean, that, just the outside of the um, front green one probably will get it and stay. Well, needs to hold up, he's pulled it tight. How's a look? Ooh. Ooh. Well, a little bit fortunate, but 
It's two and a half feet now for David to draw this. He has apologised as all the players do. Not on the crown, will they? They'll be shouting, hi, hi, lads. Uh, yeah, that's a different <laughs> response on the crown. Whether that's the right response is a different question. It is funny. So, again, just another draw. It's all about just settling your nerves, isn't it? Just treating it as a normal normal bowl. Yeah, you draw this nine times out of ten, but on, if it was a normal end. But, yeah, last end of a tie break, it's a little bit different with the pressure. Well, just looking at his reaction, he's still looking at it. He needs to stop. There's a lot of he needs to he's stop. Heavy. Yeah. Yeah. Third end pushed it too match. far. Been and Warmington, Scott Edwards. 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 Been Warmington take the last end of this tiebreak. Well, there's always going to be a great caliber of uh, bowlers there, wasn't it? Really going to be a good game. And, you know, the, the qualifiers just came out of the traps absolutely quick. So quick, Mark, weren't they? Yeah, absolutely. They played really well and, um, and probably, all right, fortunate result on the last ball, but you know, over the game, it was a, a, a game that he decided to bench. Yeah, yeah, it just shows you the, you know, the class of the two seeded players. You know, they stuck in, came back, forced it to a tie break, and as we mentioned, sometimes you just get that little bit of luck and it just sees you over the line. So they're through to the next round. Okay, everybody, so that's all we have time for today. Tomorrow, we're sticking with the pairs, and we're going to start at 10 o'clock in the morning with. Uh, Stuart Anderson and Darren Burnett taking on the Irish qualifiers of Mark McPeak and Stuart Bennett. Thanks for joining us today, Mark. Good luck in your competition tomorrow. Thanks, Jason. And for everybody else, it's good night. God bless everybody. Bye-bye.